Yes, I have had quite a lot of experience with charcoal and I enjoy uh, what I know about charcoal, but I'm constantly learning more things. The charcoal itself is a, a, a little um, granule, the individual parts are just little granules like this. These individual granules are, are interesting because they have little crevices, which you can see here. You can see how these uh, little holes and little canals and all of these little uh, indentations around in the charcoal granule, all of these can take up poisonous substances and indeed will take up charcoal, will take up uh, poisonous substances, all manner of them. In fact, a number of articles have been written in uh, medical journals such as these that I'm holding here. This one was published in the very prestigious journal called Pediatrics uh, just in uh, 2001. Uh, researchers had done a big experiment on many, many children, over a thousand children who had gotten poisoned in the home. And what they had thought was instead of having all children who are poisoned in the home transported to an emergency facility, why not have parents have charcoal in the home so that when a child is poisoned, they can simply administer it themselves. And so they began a campaign in this area in Connecticut and uh, uh, invited all parents to, to have charcoal in their homes in the medicine cabinet already. And uh, so they found that uh, in 60 minutes or less, they could have a poisoned child or some, a child who had taken something that uh, you weren't certain was poisonous, they could have the child with their dose of charcoal already within 60 minutes or less. And that, that almost never happened in the, uh, in the hospital. It was less than a third of the cases that came to the hospital that were going to have the charcoal administered in 30 minutes or less. Whereas more than 90% of those who could get the charcoal administered in the home would have the charcoal in half an hour, in, uh, uh, in less than an hour. Now, uh, concern over proper administration of the charcoal by parents was also uh, very uh, big in the minds of physicians. Uh, and I think generally we feel that parents are going to be maybe a little bit backward in uh, being able to administer treatments in the home. But as we have had more and more experience in dealing with parents, we find that they are fully as capable uh, uh, as nurses and doctors to administer a, a simple treatment like charcoal in the home. So we recommend now to everybody that they have charcoal in their medicine cabinets at all times. Uh, when you have an emergency, that's not the time to try to call around and see where you can find it. Now, we uh, speak of activated charcoal. Activated charcoal is different from just regular charcoal. Regular charcoal is uh, something similar to what I have here. Here I have uh, some uh, partly ashed and partly charred wood that came from a fireplace. And you can use this in a pinch. Just take some of these uh, dark pieces and uh, crush them up with a hammer and a, uh, a cloth towel or uh, crush them with a, a fork if they are soft enough. And you will get some benefit from that, but not a lot. What you get the most from is the activated charcoal. The activated charcoal has been specially processed in a factory where steam and pressure are used to clear the ash away from the little granules that, with the little crevices so the ash is cleared away and uh, the activated charcoal is at least twice if not three times as uh, effective as the regular charcoal. So you can see that it's important for you to use that if you can. And uh, as to how to administer it, we can teach a parent to give the child the charcoal by mouth in several ways. They can, one way is to stir it up in a glass and uh, put a straw in it and let them drink it. Now, some will say, well, my child won't drink that black mixture. And uh, that may be true. And if you can't get the child to take the, the charcoal when it's mixed up in water, call grandmother because grandmothers know how to get a child to take something that they don't want to take. And uh, so, uh, and in fact, that has been shown that uh, in homes 
where there is a grandparent, there are fewer visits to physicians than in homes where there is no grandmother available. So you're very fortunate if you have a grandmother and she can get the child to take the activated charcoal. And uh, this can be a great help to you to know that in your very own home, you can be prepared